Hi guys, um, it's Brad again. Uh, just wanted to do a quick video on how to connect uh, the GoPro Hero 3 Black Edition, it should also work for the Silver and White Editions, um, to an iPad. Um, I'll be testing with a third generation iPad, it was released in early 2012, um, but it should work fine with the iPad 2 and the fourth generation iPad. And I believe it'll work with the iPad 1. Um, I'm not sure if the uh, the iPad 1 is compatible with the GoPro app, but it'll essentially work the same with any iOS device that's compatible with that app. Um, before you <clears throat> before we get into that, I'm just going to run over a couple things really quickly. Um, you do want the, to be running the latest version of the GoPro firmware. Um, you also, even before you install that, you want to make sh absolutely sure that you're running uh, the latest version of the Java runtime environment, and that's what's going to automatically uh, detect your camera um, when you go to the GoPro website. So I'm going to just cover these things very, very quickly. Um, if you want me to make a video on how to actually do that, let me know, um, and, and I'll try to, to do something in more detail. Um, but really quickly, uh, you would just go into, um, uh, whoops, not Java. Um, you'll just do a quick Google search for Java. Um, I'm just using Safari on my, my, on my Mac. Um, you can just do a Google search for java.com or just go to www.java.com. Um, <clears throat> and it's really easy. Free Java download. It's big red button. You click it. Just follow the on-screen prompts. Make sure it installs. You should be good to go. Um, the next thing you want to do is go to GoPro's website. Um, now, GoPro had kind of a server crash over the Christmas holidays, so things aren't going to, things may not be exactly the same as I'm going to show you here, but hopefully they are. Um, you just, you know, www.gopro.com, let's see here, if I can spell, okay, gopro.com, um, at the top, um, you'll see support, you can click that. Now here's the part that's going to be different. Um, usually the support page doesn't look like this. Um, the Hero 3 update is right up here under product updates. Um, normally there's a column on the left hand side with all the different products, uh, or at least product categories listed. So there might, it might say like Hero 3, you can click that and it'll have the different subversions like the black, white, and silver, um, and so on. And then you would click your normal camera. Well. The, uh, I believe the new update is a unified update. Um, so you click on that, it's just going to bring up the Java update screen. Um, this is all done on automatically. It's really easy to do. Usually takes about 10 minutes, maybe 15 if you're slow and you know you read everything. I've got it down, you know if I, even if I do a reset on the camera, um, it, it, it only takes like 10 minutes. It's pretty easy to do. Um, and you'll literally be on this page for probably three or four minutes. Um, so anyway, um, you'll, you'll run through the steps. It's going to download and install the firmware, but the important thing is during this process you will actually choose the Wi-Fi network name for your camera. You'll also choose the password. Um, and so that, that becomes important uh, when, uh, when you know connecting the GoPro Hero 3 and uh, the iPad wirelessly. Now the GoPro 3 does establish its own uh, ad hoc Wi-Fi hotspot. So, you know, it's it's important that you're running the latest version. And also, um, especially for those who have the Hero 3 Black editions, and if you haven't updated your firmware, um, it will have the GoPro app option on there. So I'm going to zoom in a little bit closer here, and um, we'll get... Uh, get a close-up on the iPad. Okay, so here we are. Um, what you'll need to do first is you're, you're going to need to uh, turn on your GoPro. This is after you've done the update and it's everything's installed. Um, you're going to hit the mode button until you get to the little wrench icon right there and you'll hit the shutter button. Next you're going to tab down until you see uh, wireless controls. It's going to look like that. Hopefully you can see it. Um, you'll hit the shutter button and it's going to say off. And that's normal. So you'll hit the shutter button again. Um, you're going to get a few different... Uh, it's, let me see if I can 
there we go. You're going to get a few different options. You're going to get off, which is it already is. Um, you're going to get the Wi-Fi RC, which is the Wi-Fi remote control, and you're also going to get the GoPro app um, option. So you want to hit the mode button until you go down to GoPro app, hit the shutter button, and it's actually going to turn Wi-Fi on um, as indicated by the blue button, and, and then it'll go back to you know whatever camera mode you're in. Um, and now we can set that down. Um, the next thing, let's get refocused on the iPad. The next thing you're going to do, um, you're going to go into your settings menu. Um, you're going to hit Wi-Fi, and you're going to choose Hero 3 Black. Or, well, I ch I chose Hero 3 Black as the name for my camera. So you're going to choose whatever you called it. If you called it Donkey Snot 101. <laughs> then that's what it'll be named. Um, you will also have to type in the Wi-Fi security password. Um, and I can't remember off the top of the head, uh, off the top of my head. I think it's like WPA, W3P or something like that, um, uh, security. So um, anyway, that's, that's not so important. Um, just make sure, you know, you're connected to the Hero 3, um, and then you can go back... Um, to your your you know the last screen. Um, <clears throat> finally, um, you'll if you haven't already done so, you will download the GoPro app uh, from the App Store. Um, just go into the App Store, search for GoPro or GoPro app. I think it's just GoPro. Um, there'll be a few different things, but I mean it, it's the only one with the official GoPro icon. Um, so anyway, you'll go into GoPro app. We're now connected to the the network here. Now I think it's going to come up. It's not going to be. Yeah, I don't think they've got this working. The connect and control page. They don't have this working yet um, in landscape mode. Not really that big of a deal. Um, just hit uh, connect and control. And whoops, I'm going to have to turn this down a little bit. Actually, I'm just going to kind of shoot up at my Mac if I can. Whoop. There we go. <clears throat> okay. So here and, and here it is. It, that's that's literally as easy as it uh, as it gets. Um, it's really cool. I mean, you've got some. You know, you can go full screen on the sucker. Um, you know, and it's it does have a little bit of a delay. And you'll see, I'm like moving my hand back and forth, and I just stopped. So I don't know. There's like a three or four second delay. Sometimes it seems shorter. Sometimes it seems longer. Um, either way, yeah, it does suck a little bit, but for framing shots, that's really what you want. Um, you can turn the preview on and off by hitting the eye, eyeball button. Um, I've also found that if you have ProTune Pro enabled, you can't get a preview while you're actually shooting. You know, you can't actually see what it's shooting in real time. If you have ProTune disabled, you can. Um, I haven't, at, at least for video, I'm not 100% sure about like interval mode and photo mode uh, since I need to do more testing. But um, but anyway, uh, I thought that was, I just discovered that today actually, so it's kind of cool. Um, again, you've got like the, lo the preview, which I just came from, the locate camera feature. Um, this is kind of uh, important if you have multiple cameras. If you hit that, it'll make some beeps and flashes occur on the camera so you know which one you're controlling. And then your settings uh, menu here. Uh, there's also the movies, uh, photos, um, high-speed photos, where, where it takes like 30 frames a second, I think. And then the interval mode, which would be for time-lapse. Um, so, and then, again, you've got all the different settings available here in the camera. Um, you know, video resolution, um, you know, ProTune, everything. Everything's right there. Anything you can change on the camera, you can change in here. At least I haven't found anything that's, that's different. Um, so, that's it. Um, really easy to do. And, um, and yeah. So anyway, that's it. Um, I just thought I would make a quick video and um, hope you guys enjoyed it. Um, if it sucks, I'm really sorry. But if you liked it and if it helped you, um, please give me a thumbs up um, and I'd really appreciate it. Thank you and um, hope to see you next time.